YouTube and card fighters, man, it's been a minute since we got to crack open some Vanguard or even play some games. But you know what? With Overdress and the release of Genesis of the Five Greats, I got some new content from you, and hopefully you enjoy. We actually got this really cool play mat. It's a uh, Star Dragon Deity of Infinitude, Eldo Eldo Breath. Sure. So I don't know if these are randomized or not, but that's what we got. And then we have four boxes of the newest booster box. This would be like the um, Overdress Booster 1. But yeah, Vanguard's back on the channel. I'm super excited to open these. Uh, and let's see what we get. And we will be making decks and all that. I don't have the starters uh, ordered yet because I wanted to see what we opened in these first. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's for the ride deck, but that's a, like a really neat... Is it pink? Yeah, it's like a pink kind of color. Kitmits will like that. And then our promo over trigger that we get with every box. Alright, so now we're just going to lay these guys down. Slide this box over here and open them up. Uh, I don't really know what I want to make. I like kind of everything. Aside from, aside from uh, like Bruce and Dark States. It's just not my play style, but everything else. And I'm not going to name every single card either. I'm just going to flip through them and show the foils and better. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's an order. Uh, Tearful Malice. I might separate the orders though. And then we have uh, a Perfect Guard and... So Twin Buckler Dragon. Neat. Oh, okay, so the new Perfect Guards are just rares. That's actually sweet. And then our... Uh, Oh, that's a triple rare. So hard to see. Is a uh, Sylvan Horned Beast Glunasia. Not bad. First triple rare of the box. I'm kind of sad that's a triple rare, but... Okay. Maybe it's a good one and I don't know. And then, yeah, for the first few of these, we'll fan through them. So everybody can see them. Okay. This. Another perfect guard, which is sweet, and a uh, double rare tri connect sorceress, which I think is part of the uh, hex orb archetype, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll place those here, kind of switch some stuff up here, real quick. Place some order cards over here, and then the commons or whatever beside them. That way you guys can see the uh, the better looking cards. Okay. And we'll zoom in a little bit more. Zoom out a little bit. Sorry, I'm in, in the new... Um, I don't want to call it a studio, but it's a new card room area. If you didn't check out the other videos. Uh, and with that, I'm still adapting to everything with the way the setup is. So please bear with me. Okay, uh, Protobulb Dragon and Hyperspeed Robo uh, Shovel Stud. That's it. That's a name. That's cool. I think yeah, this is works with the uh, the imprisonment stuff, which is neat. That's the uh, Brant uh, strategy going on. At least one of them. I promise we'll get smoother as we go through these. But just for my first time opening Overdress, I'm kind of enjoying the first box a little more. Shadow Leak Magician and... Oh, nice. So our over trigger is Dragon Empire. I'm not going to complain about that. It's uh, the Overlord of the Trigger. So that's what we got for our trigger. Very nice. 
I wonder if we'll get like any SPs or anything, or but we don't even have anything for Dragon Empire, so I wonder if we'll get like what is it, Valer Valeria or something like that? I can't remember the exact name. I apologize. Or Varnia. It's got a weird name. I know Nirvana is the main like ride gray three. Oh, we got a uh, two rears in. Oh, okay, so it's a parallel foil. Um, Branch trigger, it looks like. Yeah, branch gate. So we do get, like, foil triggers and stuff like that besides the rear. So I think we'll just put that up there to make note of it. And then our rears were Phantasm Magician Curtis and Big Sneak Witch uh, Solaria. There we go. Yeah, after this first box, I'll kind of breeze through. Just giving you guys a heads up so you're like, why is he going so fast? That's why. Just to get to kind of the goods. Because I don't like taking too long on these videos. But at the same time, I figured with the first one being up for Overdress that people might enjoy just kind of sitting and enjoying the cards. Okay, Dark Strain and Dragon. And our rare, or foil rather, is Double Rare Knight of War Damage Fusado. Can't be, so his resist, in it, more or less, and then whenever attack hits, counters... Oh, he's the um, counter charge and soul charger for Keter Sanctuary. Very nice. I heard he was important. So, I'm glad. Oh, we got another foil. And the foils keep coming, so... Polar Cold Monster Drumler and uh, Diablo's Boy Eden. I'm guessing that's Bruce stuff because it is a triple rare. So we'll put that with our others here. Put the over trigger there so we can get them in the screenshot a bit better. Again, still kind of getting adjusted to the new setup. Even the camera, even though like my camera and everything's the same, my my chair is not, so the angles are slightly off. And where I'm, how I'm recording is not either. So apologies. Hopefully, it's it's good enough, and everybody can enjoy these wonderful card fight cards. All right, uh, penetrate dragon and tribash. And uh, our other triple wear is Eugene. I hear a lot about this card being talked about. Um, and I don't hear very many good things about it that it needs more. But it can eventually get there. So neat. Um, not really what I was looking for. But I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. So I know, I know stuff I like um, out of the gate. Like I like uh, Zorbon or whatever, Zorgon, whatever his name is. The, uh, the Grand Blue guy like him I'm probably killing his name and everybody's gonna crucify me in the comments because I can't remember it I, I work today so I'm a bit tired oh spiritual body condensation and oh, okay we got four triple rares I don't know how the new ratios are but that's cool a uh, hex orb sorceress Kitmits will like that she was interested in that kind of card but I mean I hear hex orbs don't have enough push yet but I hear they're pretty good. Or at least can't, will be, potentially, eventually. Oh, that's an order card, but he's in the rare slot. Oh, okay, I think we, yeah, okay, we got a, let's say, I know what H means for foil. But we have a uh, Pentel Gleam Sorceress and a uh, Rescue Hate Dragon for the rares. And then a uh, Rancor Chain, which might be a, um, a parallel. Yeah, it looks like the parallels are just marked with like this H on them. I'm not sure what that means. For like the, the extra foils, which are cool. I'm always down for more foils, you know. Not gonna complain there. Oh, 
Ooh! Spoiler! Oh, it's only double rare. Okay. Cool. And then, uh, Violate Dragon for our rare. And then, uh, yeah. Marina? So, yeah. That's the, uh, Dragon Empire archetype, for those who don't know. Marina's pretty cool. Uh, it makes, like, your rear guard restand and other things, but it can be super aggressive and neat. Uh, I hear the meta's kind of different. And basically, like, Keter Sanctuary is everything, and it kind of goes from there. Whoa, dropping stuff. Oh, it looks like Angel Feather. Because I still think the, um... Okay, so our rare is Cataclysmic Bullet of Dust Storm Randor. Divine Sister... Oh, that's an SP, I think. Um, Divine Sister Tartan. And... Yeah, it's an SP. Um, Agus Mare Dragon. Very beautiful, look at that. That is gorgeous, actually. Very nice. And that's a Keter Sanctuary Perfect card. So, that will go over here. Kind of there. Kind of do that a little bit. Maybe show it off here. There we go. So I don't want that to get ruined or anything. I only think we'll collapse these rares a little bit better. But yeah. Uh, cool. Alrighty. Shadow Army. Is this one of the token? That's a Shadow Army token. That's cool. So we'll set those aside. Uh, Sylvan Horned Beast Algeo? Or Aglio? Aglio makes sense. Okay, so one rare. And then uh, White Light Dragon uh, Parasolus. So it's the heal trigger for Dragon Empire. Very cool. I'll take that. That is a gorgeous perfect guard we pulled. I don't know if SPs are now like one per box or if they changed anything. Okay, there's the regular to compare. So, that's cool. The SP and the normal. And then our rare, or, or sorry, our uh, double rare or better is Steam Battler uh, Gun... Gunaram, I guess, or Gunguram. It's got a weird, weird spelling, but there he is. Very nice. And then we have a couple more packs left. And then, like I said, in the second box, or in the second box, and moving forward, I was just going to kind of open them to the last few spots. Okay, uh, drag gritter Dabox. Okay, uh, Cardinal Noid Cabisia? Sure. And then, oh, that's kind of funny. We got the parallel version and the regular version. That's neat. That's, I like that. That's cool. So, to be a two Noid, one pack, we'll call it. Make it easier on. Pronunciation. Oh, that's an order. Okay, and then, oh, we do get something. We have Divine Sister Facitia, I think. Yeah. And then uh, Spurring Maiden Alenia for Stokea. Very nice. Not a bad box. We will slide these. Up and out of the way, however, to get on to the next box. Hopefully you're sticking with me. Hopefully you're enjoying this. I know it's not a card fight, so it's not as exciting. Um, but I am enjoying opening these boxes. And then I hope to move a lot quicker for the next three, like I said. You're going to see kind of an accelerated pace from them. I'm not going to be as slow as it were. Alright, just had to pull 
little garbage thing beside me. Oh, no, I don't want to throw those away. Maybe I should put them in the box. Okay, so now, box number two. But yeah, let me know what you guys are building for uh, Overdress. Like I said, I still have to figure that all out. I'm going to adjust a little bit easier to make things a little more comfortable for myself. Even zoom out a little bit. Oh, I pulled that off. Duh. Oh, I like those sleeves. They're nice and crimson red. Those might be Zero's Ride Deck sleeves. Very sweet. And then, of course, our over trigger. But I like those. I like those a lot. I am I am down for that. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, Gunning of Dust, Storm Nigel, and Crawl, you insects. And then our triple rare is uh, Barrel Magnus. Not bad. That If I would play Dark State Stack right now, it would probably be him. So, that's okay. I'm not going to complain about that. Alrighty, uh, Drag Ritter Dabox, Cardinal Noid uh, Cabissia, and then a Parallel Trigger for our foil. Okay, Divine Sister of Asitia, I think that's how you say that. I apologize if I'm butchering names. And then a Stealth Dragon Tensha Steed. For I think a double rare. Just zoom out a little bit more. Okay, we have Grief, Despair, and Rejection. <laughs> what a name. Stealth Rogue of Strife, Fudo Maro. I think that's the first one we got of that. And oh, an SP number two for Stokea. Spurred Meta Elenia. I wonder if they are one per box now, but that is gorgeous. If the camera will focus. For all you waifu fans out there, enjoy that beauty. Stick it right there for now. Okay. Alrighty, uh, Penetrate Dragon, Tribash, and another Parallel Trigger. So I'll just put the Parallel stuff here, I think. Double Rares, Parallel, Higher Rarity stuff, slash one, one per box stuff. Make it easy-ish on me. Alright, our Rare is another perfect guard for Dragon Empire. And our Foil or better is Double Rare Painkiller Angel. So not bad. These uh, these boxes are kind of wild from what I'm used to, so I'm uh, I'm digging it. Okay, Grandinard Fell Tiger, Tiger. I don't know. Anyway, um, Black Tears Huskin Dragon, and our reverse is Divine Sister Tartan, Tartine. I think that was a rare, actually, so it might be a reverse rare. Okay. Electro Spartan. That one's easy to say. In Inheritance Maiden. Uh, Hendrina. Nice. Get a lot of Stokea, so... That's good, because uh, Kitmits wants to build that deck she has interest in. That and the... Uh, Hex orbs, so but I like the uh, the one Stokea unit. Like I said, I can't remember his name, I apologize. I just saw him and thought, oh Thanatos, but it's not. Curse and Soul Squirming in Agony. Okay, or Curse Soul Squirming in Agony. Nice. Oh cool. Uh 
Grand Heavenly Sword, Alden. I hear he's good for the Keter Sanctuary deck, like really good. Yeah, so he draws you cards. So, one of the uh, better cards for that deck. It's, uh, it's Pot of Greed for those Yu-Gi-Oh players out there. Okay, so we have... Cataclysmic Bullet of Dust Storm Randor. So we have another Randor. And then In the Darkest Nobody Knows, which is a reverse foil. I don't okay, so that's cool. Oh, okay, this is the World Knight in Abyssal, uh, or Dark Knight in Abyssal, Dark Knight card. Nice. I don't mind that being in uh, that rarity. Although, that being said, hmm. I wonder if us like it in Brandgate kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah, Tartan. So Tartin, however you say that, but reverse flaw, that's what I thought. And uh Detonation Mutant uh Bobo Mine. Cool. I hear that's a a good one for Brandgate as well. So not not unhappy to see that one. We still need our over trigger. And we still need, uh, I think, another triple rare or better. Okay, dry gritter Awuwath. Uh, speaking of which, Stokea. Man, we are getting a ton of Stokea. Very nice for over trigger though. We'll put that up there. Kind of appropriate for this box, I must say. Okay, and then we have spiritual body condensation. Polar Cold Monster Drumler and a uh, Reverse Foil Double Gun of uh, Desert Storm Bart. Okay, so it's a starter for Dragon Empire. Not bad. And we have a few packs left. I guess that we should be owed one triple rare. Maybe two. Maybe these will both be banners. Okay, Sealed Path. Oh, that's not a foil. Sorry about that. Shadow League Magician and Double Rare Upward Acrobat Majore. Very neat. Looks very Pell Moon esque. I'd imagine it is. If clans still existed, but they do not anymore. Okay, and we have Fighting Dragon Gold Dog or Gold Dog Dragon. And uh, there he is, Cardinal Dog. Deus Orphist. Very awesome and actually cool story if I'm not mistaken. Daisuke, who does the artwork for this, did artwork on my binder, which I can actually grab for everybody. If you stuck this on as a little treat. I met him at another card game locals for a card game called Kaijudo. And he physically did that in marker, basically Sharpie on this binder. This is a plain white binder. But that's a unit from uh, Kaijudo and Duel Masters. So I thought I thought that'd be a nice little treat to see. Like it's it was cool to meet him. He's very, very kind. And he does awesome artwork. But he just like did it live. I was like wow that, that was incredible. So a uh, neat little memory I carry around with me. Alright, Howling Moonlight Night and triple rare Aurora Battle Princess Argo Rogue. Very nice. Guessing this is more stuff for Brant Gate and Imprisoning. Yes, it is. Okay, so that cleans up box number two. We're just going to move right on. Pretty happy with that box. Um, not much in way of the Dragon Empire, though. So, I don't know if that's the route we're going to be going or not, but here we are. And then, reverse pull is there. Over trigger in front, SP in front so nothing gets screwed up. And, con is there. Yeah, okay, that box took significantly less time than the first one, I think. Let go, thank you. I would 
like to get like the Trickstar um, SP guy. Neat. That looks very Brandt esque. And then a rubber trigger. Alrighty. And plop that right on top. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this uh, opening. Sorry it's a little longer, but I haven't done Vanguard, so I figured, you know, it would be a nice dive-in point um, for us to get back into the swing of things for Vanguard. Okay, Baramagnus. I guess if we're getting a card in duplicate, sure. We still need that Dark States Over Trigger then. But it will help give us direction of what to build. Oh, well. SP out of the gate. Diabolo, uh, Diabolus Boys Eden. Yeah, it works with Bruce. Because it says Final Rush. Okay. Um, cool. I, I'm just not really a Spike Brothers guy. Never was. No offense to those who are, but I just never was. A uh, hyperspeed robot, or robo, shovel stud, again. But who knows, maybe my mind will be changed because I was a big Gear Chronicle fan. Okay, Dragon, Gritter, Alwath. And, you know, speaking of which, for Dark States, man, is this a Dark States box or what? Look at that. SP over Tricker and our first triple rare. That's sweet. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to rethink our mindset with Dark States. Maybe we're being chosen. It's a joke. I'm not that weeb. Uh, spiritual Body Condensation... Polar Cold Monster Drumler and Stealth Dragon Jean Goku for our reverse foil. Okay, Cursed Souls Squirming in Agony. It makes me laugh every time. And Orphist. Okay, we can also work on a Brandgate deck. So that's pushing us. To having some pieces now. We just also need their over trigger. Although, that being said, that means we skip out on Keter Sanctuary, so I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Uh, Shadow Leak Magician and uh, Knight of War Damage Fosade. I think that's how you say that. But yeah, important card for Keter. Okay, so we have another Randor and the reverse foil of uh, Pavi. I think that's how you say that. P H O V Y or Fovi, one of the two. And uh, it's the starter for Brankate. Very cool. Not SP or anything, but still need to have the foil of it since we are pulling toward Brankate. Oh, I spoiled it for myself. I'm not exactly happy. Crawl, you insects, and then another Eugene. <laughs> sure. Can we get, like, an SP pack? That would be sweet. Alright, Electro Spartan and um, another Elenia. Not bad. At least three Elenia because we have the SP, so... That kind of happens a lot with our stuff whenever I do openings. I'll have like an SP one off and like three of the double rare. I don't know if that's the case for anybody else, but. And then uh, White Fane Witch Dizma for the reverse. But yeah, this was a very Dark States box. I'd like to close it with something uh, like really strong for Dark States then. Uh, Divine Sister Facida and uh, Varenia Arms. Nice. Or Arcs, not Arms. I'm looking at it and see the Arms and think Arms. Like I said, worked today for about six hours with a bunch of people at a restaurant. 
So that is my current job, so my brain might not be all here. Oh, jeez, I dropped something. Apologies for hitting the camera, too. Okay, that guy, Black Tears, Husk Dragon, and Crawl You Insects Reverse Foil. Kind of appropriate, <coughs> because that looks like a Dark States. Yeah, it's a Dark States one. So, appropriate for this box, to say the least. Donji! Okay, Fighting Dragon, Golog Dragon, and a uh, Silver Horn, or Sylvan Horn Beast, Klonosia. Alright, so that makes our four triple rares. So we're hoping for a good hit in these last two packs. Um, I don't know if you can get like an SP pack in the same box you get an SP in or what. I have no idea on ratios on these things. That's why we're opening them. Alright, uh, Tree Bash and uh, Stokea Draw Trigger. Which I'm going to tuck under there because Dark State's power, I guess. And last pack, a last chance for victory or glory, however you want to look at it. And uh, let's see what we get. Twin Buckler Dragon and, uh, okay, a Dark State's Double Rare, so that's not too bad. Still pretty cool. Um, it looks like you do get an SP per box. Or, I'm um, stupid lucky. One of the two. My guess is you get an SP per box. That's what it's looking like. Which is a nice little, uh... A nice little icing on the cake, as it were. So you do get something foily and pretty. Also explains why some of the SPs aren't as expensive as I'd expect them to be. Alrighty. And now we will end the video with box... Number four. Let's go out on a bane, hopefully. And I also hope we get like a different set of sleeves that we haven't seen yet. Because variety is fun for the ride deck sleeves. Okay, and oh, we did. Very cool. I like these blue ones too. They're nice. Very nice. And then our over trigger, as is per usual. Alrighty, let's get this over with, and that way y'all can get back to your regular whatever you're doing. Okay, so it looks like we have the Stokea spell, along with the Stokea tripware. Sorry, I did that a little wrong. I need to get back over here, probably from when I bumped the camera. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this last bit of the video, and uh, stay tuned for more future Card Fight Vanguard content. And uh, yeah, let's get get it over with. Randor and Reverse is Uncanny Burning. So cool, we got the Dark State starter too. Nice little thing. Can we get the SP pack, though? That's the big question. If they exist. I hope they do. That was a nice thing in the other Vanguard's uh, series. Okay, Tartina and uh, Bubble Mine. Double Rare. Yeah, this definitely moved over. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Thought stuff moved. Okay, we're better now, I think. Yeah. Again, still getting used to the camera and didn't think to do it beforehand because I just was so excited. Even though I don't sound excited, I was very excited to open this product because it's been so long since I got my hands on Vanguard. So, yeah. A lot. And, ooh, okay, so I don't need that because it's one per deck, but neat. I wish you had been like any other of the triggers that we didn't already have. 
But there we are. Can always make up for it. Um, so reverse foil again for that box or that pack. I could always make up for it for uh, giving us like an NSP pack. I'd be happy with that. Shadow Leak Magician and uh, Upward Acrobat Majoria. I think that's how you say that. If I'm butchering it again, I apologize. I'm not French, which I believe is that pronunciation. Okay, so Fighting Dragon, Gold Dog Dragon, and uh, Diablo's Boys Eden, which is... Sorry, I was down here. Uh, triple Rare for the final rush deck. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, we're getting another Eugene. Sorry, that's just like kind of always a feel bad because I mean, it's cold. I think we pulled like three of them. He just isn't good right now and I want like good stuff. Okay, Coral Unisex and uh, Hex Orb Sorceress. So Kitmits will be happy about that. I think that makes all four triple rares. So now we really are pushing for like that SP pack. Okay. Read Despair and Rejection. Oops. And then Stell Dragon Fudomoru. And I think this is an SP. Yeah, it is. Of um, a Stokea unit, when this unit is placed on Vanguard, choose one normal order from your drop zone, put it into your hand. Okay. Then continues to regard. If you played an order this turn, it gets plus 5k for the regard. And then it's a grade 2. That's kind of neat. But now we're just looking for high rarity stuff. So, honestly, we're just going to do this. I'll flash at the camera quick so you guys aren't, like, waiting... We have a few packs to get through. That kind of ended early. I hope this box has a little more to give us. Okay, Divine Sister and our Double Rare Stealth Dragon, Tenacious Dead. I'm hoping for a bang, but I don't think it's coming. Could be wrong. Ooh, that's nice, though. Okay, we got the... Uh, Penetrate Dragon, but we also got for Keter Sanctuary this nice foil reverse. So that's like a rare reverse. And we got a motor because my battery's gonna die. Okay. So Painkiller Angel and the PG. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we got another like rare. Uh, reverse foil on that. And then two rares. And last pack. Thank you for sticking with me. It doesn't look like we got anything, but I appreciate your support nonetheless. And uh, stay tuned for more Card Fight Vanguard videos in the future. Take care and have a good one. Later, everybody.